Michael Checker, not obviously the result you wanted, but a bit to work with there for the next three tests? I think so. I think that's why we're very, we're very flat, you know, because there was a lot of stuff to work with, I suppose. Um, probably just, well, I don't think probably, too many turnovers at key moments, you know, and too many turnovers in general, uh, and too many turnovers in key moments as well. So, yeah, I think it's, a, it's probably a bit, bit of the reason why we're, we're feeling like that, but um, yeah, some, some things we can work with going forward for sure. Uh, the yellow card was a, a key moment. Steve Hansen just described it as a, a whole lot of nothing um, and, and said it was perhaps dumb. But uh, what was your take on it? Well, yeah, no, you can't, like, you shouldn't do it because, you know, it's if they push us the, and he pushes back, he should know that it's going to come back to get us. Or just the nature of where we're at at the moment, you know. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> not really that. He shouldn't, he shouldn't do it, and it's pretty simple, you know what I mean? But at the same time, as a footballer, you don't want to get pushed. I don't think the referee was going to do anything about it as he kept coming towards him. So, yeah, maybe that's the expectation on us. But I think we, he, he definitely... Um, shouldn't do it because, yeah, it left. I understand what he wants to do, look after himself and stand up for himself. That's part of the game. He should be allowed to do that. And if, if uh, But not in that manner because it cost us 10 minutes and didn't achieve anything anyway. Uh, Michael, um, how important was it to turn around that five minutes before half time, five minutes after, which had been a... I guess a big emphasis and um, the value you saw in Samu Karebi's uh, big display in the last part of the game. Yeah, I think that um, we've got some troops coming back to us now. Jack Dempsey and Samu Karebi, who both got out there and had good performances, that gives us that extra bit of uh, depth. And we've probably got, we're going to add a few players to the squad going into the European tour as well. So um, the, the bit about the before and after half time, that, that's, you know, we'll, it's all about trying to deliver consistency, you know. I think we had better periods of consistency, but then, you know, we need to have a bit more perseverance with the ball in our hand um, and, you know, not always, not always try and hit the home run in, in the first play. Hoops, did you, uh, did you feel the... Out there, did you feel like the attack was working as well as it has probably since, since June? Like, I think seven or eight line breaks... Um, a lot of them through the middle. Is that how it felt to you? Yeah, through the middle, we we're, were quite good there. Um, our forwards working really hard. I thought our, you know, our eight forwards through the middle were, were getting some nice movement, movement through the middle. It was probably, you know, those three turnovers out wide. When we finally make the decision to go out wide, um, we turn the ball over. When you look after the game at 17 to seven turnovers, that's a the heap of ball you're giving to New Zealand, and we all see what they can do with that. Uh, Hoops at, at 17, 13 down. Did you feel like things were on track? Uh, clearly, there was a, a scrum and, and th they scored soon after. Was that was that the moment, the, the turning moment? I, I was feeling confident throughout. I mean, we saw what we could uh, we can do in a short amount of time a couple of weeks ago. So I know the ability is there to to score points. Um, look, I felt felt confident. In, in what we've been working on over the past couple of weeks, particularly in our defence, to be able to hold them out, you know. So, I mean, 30, 37 points stings us a bit. Um, we, I spoke yesterday about defending better for longer and attacking better for longer. Um, we probably didn't do that there around that 65, 70 minute mark. Uh, Michael Hooper, we spoke to Checker last week about the spring tour. I was just wondering what your thoughts on a, a pass mark would be on the Wallabies spring tour and also what would you like to achieve on that tour? We've got, we've got some standards and some goals that we want to achieve um, as a group that we're working on, you know, and tonight um, sets a really good level for us and, and where we want to improve on um, coming not only this trip but into next year as well. Um, you know, I'm not going to throw out there... A, uh, how many ever games we've got something that we think is uh, is going to produce results for us. Um, check, obviously the way uh, Samu sort of made that impact 
in the second half when he came on and, and Jack Dempsey had a few nice carries as well. Uh, do you think that they're ready moving forward next couple of weeks to get back into the starting 15 or are they going to be managed a bit more and sort of bring him in in the second half a bit more still? Uh, well, we'll see how it plays out. We've got a week here now without a game, bit of preparation there and to see how they, you know, they're feeling. Play it in, in two fashions, you know, like look for them to get back into starting or we can try to increase the time um, from the finishing. You know, they both played, well, good portions of the second half. So, um, you know, I'd say that they'll be in line for, obviously, for selection um, in both, you know, either as a starter or a finisher and we'll see how they look over the next week before we decide. Any injuries from the match, Michael? Uh, I don't think so, no. No, I, I didn't see anything that was clear today. No, everyone looks fine. And can you give us an indication of anyone um, extra who will be um, called in for next week? I think we'll um, we'll probably bring in a few back, a couple of backs, um, I'd say, because we're, we're a bit low on back, back line numbers here when, with the last minute um, injury to Reese Hodge. So I'll probably bring a couple of backs in. I'll not sure when we'll announce it, probably tomorrow or something like that, the squad that's going forward. T tomorrow or the next day, the squad that's going forward into the European Tour.